Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. Today, we're going to shoot those ounce and a quarter 16 gauge loads of lead BB. 56 pellets. And this is what they look like. Really good crimp on it. Wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys, that's a horrible, horrible crimp. The worst I've ever seen. But yeah, this is actually 1.22 ounces of lead BBs. With the Mylar wrap, it only holds 56. Without the Mylar, you can get a total of 58 pellets, which is a full ounce and a quarter. But the gun we're using is the TriStar Viper G2 16 gauge. It does have the regular stock fixed full in it. Not fixed full. The interchangeable full. But we have two of these. We'll do one at 42 yards and then one at 10 for, say, a hunting. Not hunting. Man, I'm all over the place today. Home defense or self-defense uh, range pattern. We'll see what they both look like. And then I have a couple of uh, buckshot loads just because I want to see how they do. First shot will be at again 42 over at Chrono. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. Today we're going to be shooting some 16 gauge. Um, it is a 2 and 3 quarter inch new prime Shadot haul. It is loaded with... 22 grains of long shot the csd 16 wad it's been four pedal three or four pedal half cut it has a eighth inch fiber cushion wad mylar wrap 56 pellets of 185 cal bb plus and bsb buffer 185 cal that is wrong you just read the phone book i did 185 cal could you imagine that 30 cal is already kind of big <laughs> i said that wrong but anyways it's 185 diameter it's 185 thousandths yeah I'm not redoing this again, guys, so you're going to hear all this rambling. <laughs> but we're at 42 yards. We've got the full choke in this TriStar. I guess uh, without further ado, let's do. Should be about 12, 12, 20 FPS. Yeah. Are you ready? 12.79. I just caused that shell to stop. How'd you do that? I had my finger up a little high on the side of the uh, did chamber. It, did it get you? Uh, the, not very hard, no, but the bolt handle caught me just enough that my finger popped the shell back into the chamber it's sitting on the side of it sideways. <laughs> if I could do that on purpose, that'd be nice. I don't have to chase them. <laughs> but, oh no, let's see here. See, I did that once with the AK-12 and about broke my thumb. I was trying to bump fire it like an idiot. <laughs> uh, it looks fine. Yeah, everything looks fine. The crip looks good. The steel plated, the brass plated steel looks good. Yeah, the steel plated brass looks good. <laughs> Steel plated brass. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, that's a Rio, not a Shadot. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, let's go see how it patterns. I've done screwed everything else up. So. <laughs> Usually it's me screwing stuff up. Yeah, it's me today. But twelve ninety five. We do have a 28-inch barrel on that gun, though. Yeah. I could have swore that was a Shadot. <laughs> <laughs> well, all in all, not too good. Nah. Not horrible. I mean, most of them are still on the board. You can take time and count them if you want. This posit, there was 56 of them. So. Yeah, and we have side-to-side -side coverage. I'll get you a better view. But you can see the core, if you want to call it that, is good. I mean, there's a ton of pellets right there, but it is side-to-side -side coverage. And if you look down here, the uh, CSD wad actually ended up punching right through the paper. So some of those pellets stayed in the wad. I don't think we've ever done a half cut on the CSD wads before. I don't recall doing it. We usually do three quarter, and uh, obviously it punched right through the paper. So that means some of the pellets were still in the wad, but it looks like the majority of them is right here. Don't tell me what causes them to do that. I've never seen a wad do that. What gauge is that? It's a TPS wad. But it looks like it's flared for ten, honestly. Yeah, it looks like a ten gauge. But it's but, like bubbled hard. Yeah, it had to be some buckshot, but. I've never seen anything do that before either. Me neither. It pushed literally the felt wad in the center. It wasn't even buckshot. It's got the felt wad still in it. It's just BBs. Not BB, but birdshot. Could have been. I don't know. You can see it down in there. It's like This camera shot. will not focus on that. Yeah, it will. This random thing we saw laying here. <laughs> yeah. But for what it's worth, that would have flat jacked up whatever you were pointing at. Just want to make that known the pattern was not bad it was just kind of wide but right. it is lead bb it's a ton of pellets you had great coverage right i was holding right here and the core of the pattern was roughly yeah. right there don't get me wrong it was obviously sprinkled out amongst the board but majority of them were out there just looks like we need a much much tighter choke that is the calibers 0.66 uh, 0.633 i think a 620 would have done a lot better 
We ain't got one though. Nope. What I was telling him though is I was watching watch the turkey hunting video. Old dude had two birds coming out the end of the field and a coyote come in. So he took his 835 and a long beard XR and um, helped the turkey population, shall I say. I wouldn't have ever thought a turkey shell would have done that to a coyote, but <laughs> <laughs> them long beards are wicked. They are. They really are. Uh, speaking of that, we need to pattern one of them three and a half XRs I got. Yeah. Hey, I got something kind of cool the other day too, guys. I got a box. They're just two ounce nitro turkeys, but they're in number six shot. They don't make them anymore. Nope. I want to do a breakdown. fours and fives, but not sixes. I think we should do a breakdown on those to see if it's actually two ounces or not. Yeah, I will say I'll go ahead and give you a spoiler. I've got to replace the buffer in one of them because they didn't seal it very well. Four of them. Four. Oh, Only dang. one still has all the buffer. The other four are loose and rattly. You'll Look see it chrono. when he does the breakdown. Battery. Dang oh. it. <laughs> that battery's been in there for two months, though. Longer than that. More like four or five. Yeah. Oh, well. We're done with it today, guys. Yep. All right, guys, same thing Josh fired here. We're at 10 yards now, so longer home defense range. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to say this is going to punch through the paper, too. But Six by six. Six by six. I'm going to go 10 by eight. I think you might have been right. I think I still guess too big. And I'll say right now, that being long shot powder, that was really loud. I forgot my earplugs. Not lying. I seem to make it a habit of doing that lately. And there's definitely a hole in the paper. I'm not sure if the wad punched through it. It doesn't look like it because the pattern up there, you guys see it in a second. It's really good. I don't know. Let's go find out. That's a wad strike. Is it round? That's pretty good. In 10 yards, it dumped all of its shot. and It's not round. It went through sideways. That means all the shots right here. And, I mean, for 10 yards, that's not bad at all. It's still not what I want. It's supposed to be like a baseball-sized pattern. But, no, it is. Let's see. Where's some clear grid is that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight by eight. That's not bad. Would you guess six by six? Yep. I guessed uh, ten by eight. Josh was closer. That's a that's not bad, but still, I would like it tighter at ten yards. But not bad. Let's test out the two buckshot loads I have though. We'll do them at forty offhand. Well, alrighty, guys, we're at forty yards here. As you can see, we're at the end of the. Uh table yep but anyways once again it's 16 gauge uh this one here is a pretty purple hull it is loaded with 22 grains of long shot the ob16 wad it's got a 3 8 inch wax hard card a teflon wrap that's something we've never used before this is the first one yep um 10 pellets of 33 cal and bsb buffer we're using a tristar g through two with the factory full choke in it 42 yards i guess safety's off usually 16 gauge and double lot great combo yep let's see how this does well that definitely smacked the crap out of it yeah i saw dirt kick up behind it pretty good let me grab his hole got my garden disc guys well plowed and disc there you go now you can see it lines are straight this time yeah i ain't <laughs> getting better at it well yeah this is the third year i've plowed and dissed i guess so i i'm i'm still new at this i've cut a lot of hay but i can't say anything i've never done it not so much farming wise but up a little bit there you go all in all the haul looks great it's still it was dirty when it rush shot it it's older haul but it's hard to say how many times this thing's went through a gun that is a herders that one of our subscribers picked up off of his gun range and sent to us along with a crap ton of 28 gauge so big thanks yeah appreciate it it got used in the video yeah it matches my press. I have a herder's press. Oh, yeah. You had to say that 33 count or a double lot agrees with 16, didn't you? Yeah. That's the only hole. Right there. That's the only hole. You guys saw, I don't know if you guys saw for sure, but we saw dirt kick up behind the patterning board like it was a good pattern. I was holding the same place as I did on my last one. Yeah. I heard paper smack too. I guess it had to be that one hole, but where are they? They're just gone.
I don't get it. Me oh. either. Oh. Nope. See, we've, no, that's shot, not it. we've shot a very similar load for years now, just like that was, and it's always a good pattern. Even I have a mod choke, single shot. <laughs> There's one pellet on paper. <laughs> I don't understand. I know I didn't screw this up that yeah. bad. Like, no, that's impossible to screw up that bad unless you just missed on purpose. Right. But one pellet? I found the rest of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oops. What the heck? That ain't the rest of them. I found the rest of them. No, look. It literally, that's press broke. We got one up there, and that's why we see it kicking dirt behind it. The rest of it. Oh, yeah. The rest well, went through that hole there. <laughs> what the heck? That is a fresh break. Yeah, look, you can see like where <laughs> pellets come through, bounced off of it. And yep. I'm so confused. What in the world happened? I wonder if you accidentally shot low or something. They hit the dirt over here and bounced up. I don't, I don't think so. Any. I don't see no. I don't see how I could. I was holding wherever. Uh... I don't know. I'll take my shot and just see what happens. This is a weird video, guys. Not what we intended, but still. Huh? Interesting. For sure. Before I fire this, I want to mention something. I did give Keith at Salt Creek the load you guys just seen Josh fire. And he uh, took pictures of his patterns and put it on Facebook. They were great. And he was using a single shot with a fixed full choke. I don't know what happened with the one Josh just fired, but I guess I should read you guys this data. It is a Rio Hall, brand new, with 22 grains of long shot, the CSD 16 wad, four pedal, half cut, one eighth inch fiber cushion wad, 12 pellets of 30 cal number one buck, and BSB buffer. Still fixed full choke, or er, fixed full, the full choke with the gun. I am aiming dead center. That's where I was aiming. I definitely heard them smack paper. Yes, and it still looks like they pattern in low. Or at least I can see a wad strike that's low. Looks like it, yeah. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. I think the gun is shooting high because I was aiming here. Obviously, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven right here that I can cover with my hand. That is a very good group right here. But then we have one down here. That's eight, nine, ten. We have ten pellets of the twelve. Three of them are pretty bad flyers. The other two went through the paper with the wad right there. They were still in it. So, half cut with the CSD 16 wad does not work. So, we'll just stick with the three-quarter cut from now on. Learned something for sure. Interesting video. Yeah, I learned something too. With the bigger buckshot pellets, I've never noticed this before. The TriStar goes high. It shoots real high. Well, not real high. Probably about four inches. But, but that makes the difference of why I had one on paper and... Yeah, he probably shot real high, yep. to be honest. Of course, but we figured out that mystery. If that was three-quarter cut or full cut, that would have been a really good pattern because we have seven I can cover with my hand right here. Oh, well. We'll know next time. Science. Well, Josh managed to find a couple of the wads. This is one that had the uh, 30 cal number one buck in it. You can see a pellet. I don't know, cavity right there. The wad looks fine. However, two got stuck in it. They're not in it anymore, though, but the wad looks okay. And this one looks okay, too. This had the BBs in it, lead BBs. Yeah, I don't half cut the CSD 16s. This is why I don't have the pellets in it anymore. It struck the ground and yeah. uh, tumbled a little bit. Yeah, it got mud caked up in it. But still, the wads look okay. Just don't half cut them. Three quarter or full is the way to go.